Hey folks, welcome to Down Home Gospel, an hour of the greatest southern gospel music in the whole world. I'm Troy Burns. And, and I'm Tammy Burns, and we are part of the Troy Burns family, the last I heard, Troy Yes, Lee. and we're hosting this Down Home Gospel show, and we're at the National Quartet Convention tonight. In Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And who are we sitting with now? We're sitting with Dean. Absolutely. This is Mr. Dean, Mrs. Tony Dean. Tony Dean. A Dean, a Dean, right here. They're all Deans. All Deans. That's why we call ourselves Deans. Four letters. Deans. Uh, inter introduce your family, please. Uh, my name's Tony Dean, and this is my beautiful wife, Tina. And this is our son. This beautiful son. This is our son, Jimmy <laughs> Dean, believe it or not. Jimmy. And this is Mr. <laughs> Noah Dean. He's the sausage man. He's the sausage, yeah. You like bacon still? I you know, remember I jumped in the cooler down there at uh, Bargain Foods. That's right. In with some Jimmy, Jimmy Dean, Dean sausage. sausage. Right here he is. <laughs> sure did. Now, y'all yeah. stay in Florida a lot, we in Panama City, but you're from Kentucky. We're from east, southeastern Kentucky, Harlan County. Harlan County, Kentucky. Originally, yeah, 50 years. 50 years there. Where do, you, where do, they, where do you stay in Florida? Put that over there where they can hear you, Troy. Where Lee. do you stay in Florida? We live in Panama City Beach. I just said that. Right man. on the beach. Isn't that awesome? Y'all need to come down and visit us. You know, a year, how long has it been, Tony? A year and a half ago? A year and a half. You weren't supposed to be here. A year and a half ago, I had three days to live, 11% heart function. And a year and a half later, here we are with Troy and Tammy Burns at the National Quartet Convention. God God's good. God did it. I mean, you were, you, were a, you were a dead man walking, weren't you? Yeah, the doctor, when, the, when they did the surgery, they put a replacement valve, which was a mechanical valve, and they said that I'd have to have a heart transplant in 2018 if I lived. I went to the doctor three months for a checkup. He said, I'd never seen anything like this. I said, have you heard my song? You can't tell me I'm dying? What would you expect? So, you know, here I am. A year and a half later, God just absolutely raised me up. Blessed us to write. We all write. And you wrote that song about your sickness, didn't you? Tell uh, us a little bit about that song. 2013, when 2012, God called me full time. I left the coal mines. I had 30 years in the coal industry and great living, $150,000 a year just doing that, plus worship leader at the church. And I said, God, you got the wrong man. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm doing good right where I'm at. And I knew what life on the road was, Troy. You know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Buses. I didn't want to travel on no bus. But God called me, and in 2013, I wrote, You Can't Tell Me I'm Dying. And in 2018, the exact man that I wrote about laying on the deathbed was me. Wow. And that's how God. But here's the thing. When God called me in 2012, I had also written a song called When God Speaks, Hear His Voice, which Top 40 Don't Sing in News. They both did. And I said, had I not answered the call, what grounds would I have had in 2018 to have said, God, I need a healing. That's right. But he gave it to me because I was obedient. That's wonderful. Awesome. That's an awesome testimony. That's wonderful. Jimmy, you're, you're still in Kentucky. You live in Kentucky. Most, no, you've moved to Panama. I moved to Panama this year. I've been down there a few months. That's awesome. Your whole family? I'm, yeah, I'm working on my tan. You looked a little more brown. There. You like that, don't you? <laughs> and you know what? Tell us about this booth right here. This, this booth actually came out of one of Frank Sinatra's theaters. Do we need to pray over it? It probably needs prayed over. Somebody somebody asked me, said, boy, if that thing could talk. I said, yeah, you you don't need to be here at no gospel concert. <laughs> You'd have to repent. <laughs> but uh, it is a it is a great piece of heritage and music. And uh, it has a background. It's number seven of one of 12 that he had. Wow. And a friend of mine, uh, at the, if you ever come down that way at the Todd Herndon Theater, he let us borrow this the past two years. <laughs> and he actually gave me one, and it's in my building in Florida, and we're going to have it reupholstered. But it got such acknowledgement last year here at the Quartet Convention, we decided well, we're going to bring it back. So we're going to anoint the other one that we got, and we're going to. Great conversation. We're going, yeah, we're going to recover it, and, and it's, it's got a big musical history. Well, you know, I believe you, y'all think you're the boss of this group, but I know who really is the boss of this group. Absolutely. Mr. Noah Abs right here. Tell absolutely. Us, Noah, how is it traveling and singing Southern Gospel music? Uh, it's, it's good. <laughs> it has its moments, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Trust me, it does. <laughs> <laughs> don't get no better, does it? And y'all are getting ready to do a live recording of a song or a video of what song, uh, Jimmy? A brand new uh, album. Tony? Brand new album coming out the first of the year called Scars. I was sitting in Fort Myers Beach just after my surgery, and uh, the, I was looking out over the water, and God said, write me a song about Scars. And I began to sing in my mind about if Scars could say a thousand words, I know what mine would be. He said, uh uh I'm talking about my scars. And I finished that song, Jim, me and Jimmy. Jimmy co-wrote with me on that. We finished it and we recorded the, have we, I think we've done recorded it. They're doing some orchestration on it. But they're also, and I know, Troy, I'm, I'm very patriotic, and thank you for your service. You, well, you're in the service, right? All my whole your, your whole family was, that's right. I remember the patriotic song that you all did. So, Both and our I, sons, uh, one was yeah, that's what it is. Black Hawk helicopter pilot, and one's in uh, the Air Force now, and um, he's in uh, special, special Forces. I knew that you were tied in with, with, with that, and but here's the thing. I, I think, and I'm going to announce this tomorrow when we do this song. I always try to recognize our veterans because our freedoms and our rights and our rights to pray, our rights to sing and do what we're doing here. Amen. You know what I did? I said, I, I have them to put a production video together with footage from, I think, The Passion of the Christ. They're buying the rights to it. I said, I need decorated soldiers saluting Jesus on the cross. And I said, I'm about America. I'm about the stripes, but I'm also about his stripes. And I think we need to honor that. So we're doing that video to go with Scars and the new album kicking off. That's awesome. Well, you know what? You get us the first copy, and we'll play it right here on Down Home the Gospel. We'll do that. You know what? We love these people out here. You talking about Southern Gospel music fans? We've got them <laughs> on WGGS 16 out of Greenville, South Carolina. We appreciate the Dean family. We appreciate what you stand for. Absolutely. Your cause that you're keep on keeping on for Christ, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yes, it is. Amen. Stay tuned for the best in Southern Gospel music right here on WGGS Down Home Gospel. How many veterans do we have in the house? Stand on your feet if you're a veteran. I wrote this song for you. God bless the USA. If scars could say a thousand words, I know what his would be From the garden of Gethsemane To the hill of Calvary The pain and all the anguish From the stripes he bore that day I could believe I could hear him say Sin for all the soldiers Our families lost at war Sin for all the children Hidden behind the bedroom door Sin for all your sin And the lost we cannot see But in all reality The last night just for me. What has he done for you? Isn't God great? This is what he done for me. Father, please forgive them. They know not what they do. The last words that my Savior said To make my life brand new The last and final hour As he bowed his head to die He cried out, it is finished His mercy filled his eyes Then for all the soldiers Our families lost at war
say it one time. Last night just 